Hey guys, what's up? Furrow here. So I'm on an alt druid and I keep trying to go into a place where nobody else is but people keep coming over here and this is like my 50th time recording this. So this is going to be a voodoo setup video. I call it voodoo. Some people say voodoo. Whatever. I'm calling it voodoo. If it drives you bonkers, I apologize. This is how I have it set up or at least how I mostly have it set up. This is a very confusing add-on when you first start to use it but I promise you once you play around with it, it gets a little less confusing. So to pull up the panel, we're going to type slash voodoo options so slash voodoo space options i have just this like i use voodoo-esque as my default one um when i mean generally when i'm creating a new one i just use one that i already have as you can see i have a bunch because i use this on all of my characters even on my dps tunes and yes my character is naked because this is an alt druid named Vero clone get it for my cone Vero clone haha -ha. And uh, yeah, so she is naked <laughs> because she, I don't play her, I just use her to list transmog items. So this is what we're going to be using. So I'm going to name this uh, Vera Clone Video, or Vera Clone YouTube. So name it whatever you want. I usually name it based off the character. So if I'm on, for like my druid, you'll notice um, like Suki, Suki Disc 10, Suki Disc 40, so that type of thing. I usually have this checked, so 1, 5, 10, and 15. You can check the specs if you want, but um, I don't think it ever changes. And then you can make, after you make this one, you can copy it and make a separate one for 25 and 40. I'm going to go ahead and click save on that. So this is under tools and profiles, I probably should have said that. Key layouts, export, share, panel wizard, none of that stuff I used. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to go under move. And you have all these extra panels, which some people like. I do not, so I get rid of them. Yeah, really? Yeah, really. I have no need for them. I do not want them. I do not care. I just want this little guy right here. That is all that I want. So, and you, if you're testing it for like 25, you can click on 25 and hit test, and that is what it'll look like in a 25 man environment. And that'll kind of help you set up how it looks, um, kind of how, you know, just, it just really helps. <laughs> So we'll actually turn on the twenty, the ten man right now. Um, so first, we're gonna go under general, general on the bottom, and then general on the top, and kind of just go through and see if I don't think I've ever used scanners. I think I usually have that turned off, but I mean you can turn that on. Um, AOE advice I usually turn off because it drives me completely insane drives me completely insane. Um, under miscellaneous announce resurrection, you can. You can make like a cool little like resin thing, so you just have to put voodoo where you want it to appear. So you could do like, gives voodoo the kiss of life, or so, you know, I mean you could put whatever, or uh, I've seen one that was like, stop taking a dirt, a dirt nap, a dirt nap, voodoo, you know. So you can do like stuff like that if you want. Um, I generally just have resin that. Um, so that someone knows that I'm resing them and they don't run out like a big dork head <laughs> and come inside and then they're like, oh. So under indicators, which is under general, we, so the outer, I usually have border multi-aggro selected, uh, threat bar, I usually have turned off, inner, I usually have turned off, mana bar, I usually have all power bars selected so that I can see like, you know, like this big rogue that's on here and see like all of their stuff if you really want it. I just like it because I think it looks better. Special dot, people usually have roll icon selected. I have that turned off and I will show you why. Bar background, um, I usually use health generic class color. Um, same with health color, mouse over, I don't have any of that stuff selected. That's pretty much what I use for there. Clusters, I don't think I use anything there. I don't use anything here. So now we're going to go under spells. So this is what you want for, you can go under spells and then mouse because apparently I had a hostile click. So target is my left click one just because I like to sometimes click to heal and it's, I use a naga mouse so sometimes I use the buttons on here to heal. Oh. <laughs> I'm pressing 5 and it's changing that. Let's pretend that did not just happen. And so that is why I have a target one. You could obviously change it to whatever, so like if you're on a druid you could change it to like life bloom or something. And then um, my right click is usually my quick heal, so rejuvenation on a druid, uh, renewing mist on a monk, 
my shield on a disc priest type of thing, uh, renew on a holy priest, whatever. My middle button tends to be regrowth, so I like to press that in emergency situations or if I have a clarity uh, thing up for my druid. So that's usually what my middle button is, so regrowth on druid. Um, on my priest it's like flash heal I think, so that type of thing. You can obviously use all these buttons if you want, I just use those three. Personal preference, you can also use modifiers, so you can like control and click something and all that fun stuff, but I mean it's all personal preference. You can also add macros. I don't use macros with these, but you obviously can. Uh, so under miscellaneous there's going to be a smart cast, so a resurrect, which means if someone dies and you're in combat and you go to click on them and you have a battle res, it'll automatically try to res them. That can be both a good thing and a bad thing. Um, you can also have the cleanse one on, so when you go to click someone it will automatically uh, cleanse them. Which comes in handy, I usually turn my cleanse off, especially in places like PvP where you don't always want to dispel somebody because you might dispel something and get feared, like from a shadow priest or something. So I usually have my smart cleanse turned off, but I usually have my resurrection turned on. Uh, so kind of viewer discretion is advised, I guess. Um, hostile, I don't think I use anything under there. So under buffs, um, you can turn that on if you want. Mine is pretty much all off. Um, I just, I don't use it. I can usually, I usually know when, as for Oko and Lissa there, I usually know when I have it or I'm missing it. Debuffs, I don't do anything under there, but you can. Panels is where the bread and butter of this add-on is going to be. So, it automatically swapped back to the 10 man. So this is what it would look like if I was in a 10 man. Um, uh, for 10 man I like to have it grouped. I like to actually have them horizontal. I just think it looks visually a little bit better. Um, background, I usually have turned off. That's just a little border that's there. And sort by, I usually do tank, healer, and then DPS. Um, personal preference, but I mean if they're in a group and you're grouped by that, it'll automatically do it by that. Or you can also do max HP, you can do kind of whatever, you can have you first. I usually don't have me first. Um, and Max Rose and Calm, which you'll just have to change depending on the size of the group. Then we're going to go under Sizing. So this you can make as big as you want or as small as you want. I'm going to make it fairly large just so that it's a little bit easier to see in the video. Um, but I mean obviously I would never have panels this big. My size for my panels is probably, for 10 mins, probably probably about that size, maybe a little bit smaller give or take, but I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger just so you guys can kind of see everything. So we have that, and then we're gonna go under bars, and again we're under the panels. Um, so for the bar texture, choose whatever texture you want, um, anything that really appeals to you. I use Voodoo Aluminum, or Aluminium if you're in the UK. <laughs> for bar color, I have class color. I just think it looks a lot better. I just like class color. I don't know. Is that weird? I don't know. Maybe it is. You can change your mana bar height, so I mean you can make it like all about the mana bar, or you can turn it down a little bit. Custom health bar. Um, I don't think I use anything on that, um, so we'll just ignore that. Damage flash, I think I have that turned on, but I don't think I ever really play with it. You can make the texture, you know, more vibrant or less vibrant or, you know, kind of whatever you want to do. Um, so we're going to go under headers. I have these turned off, which basically just says group 1 and group 2. You can turn that on, you can turn it off. It's really your personal preference. Targets, I don't do anything with. Tooltips, I don't think I do anything with. Yeah, I don't, I don't do anything with that. Uh, text, so for text, I do, um, I put that kind of in the middle. I put the hit points, which is the percentage of health that they're at, there. Um, I make the text, um, you know, fairly good size. It's usually class color. Obviously it's not going to be that big. And it's going to cut people's names off, which is totally okay. Um, I do percentage, but you can do you can do missing, remaining, like whatever whatever you really want to do. It's, it's all up to you. You can do health color if you want. Um, you can change the text to whatever text you want to use. I think I use... I might use 2002 bold normally. I'm not positive. But that is generally how I have that set up. Um, I don't mess with any of that stuff. Um, but I mean, you can have this literally put anywhere that you want. 
um, which is what I like about Voodoo, is you can customize this how you want it to look, not necessarily how I have it looking. Alright, so then after we have the text where we want it, we're going to go under Hot Icons. And so this, I, I don't use the first one that's here. I prefer the second one where everything's in a corner. I just think it looks so much better. As you can see for slot 6, I have a roll icon selected. I just visually like how that looks. If you are, if you do PvP, you can also add a PvP flag carrier. So if you have someone flag carrying, you can see who has it, which makes it a lot easier when you are healing. Um, and then for these, you literally, whatever buffs you want to show. So, like, I like Life Bloom, so I'll have that one show. Um, it's gonna, it's still showing the other panels, so. But you can actually probably turn that off. Okay, so I turned that off. To turn that off, you just go to move, and then current, and then go back to where we were. Panels. Alright, so that is, this This is what our current one looks like. So you can see right now it looks like that. So you can have flat, you can have, I turn the triangles off, I put text on. Apparently I'm losing my voice right now. Um, I put text on because I like to see the timer for it, and then I have icons selected. So that you can actually see the visual icon for it. So there's Life Bloom, there's Rejuve, um, if Regrowth was a hot, you would see Regrowth on there, so I probably wouldn't have Regrowth on there, unless it's for PvP, since you're supposed to use, I mean, you should really use the glyph for PvE, not necessarily PvP. Um, so, I mean, you can put whatever hot icons you want in here. Uh, Wild Growth would be another one, except I don't have it yet on this character. Except I don't have it yet on this character, so it's not really going to matter. Um, if you want to resize these, you can just do it come back. You can do it with this, but I prefer to do it with this. So I click on more, and so number six I know is my roll icon, so we're going to kind of make that a little bit smaller. Rejuve was number three, so you can just kind of make all these about the same size, and it'll shrink them a little bit, because I don't like mine to be like too big. I just, I don't know, I just think it looks weird. But And then the little text on the right is just kind of the the heal that they're getting, which I like to see, but some people don't, so whatever. Um, hot bars, I never mess with that. Miscellaneous, raid icons, I have turned on. Overheal text is this text that I'm talking about right here, so you can kind of see when people are getting a heal. I think I just leave mine to the left. Um, obviously, you can turn that off if you want to, but I usually keep it on. Alright, then we're going to go to colors. So this is if people are charmed or anything. I usually have mine just show the text because I, I don't know, I just prefer it. It's just, a, again, a personal preference. So pick whatever you want. Some people like background, some people like text. So whatever you prefer. Modes, this is normal mode, shield bar. I don't think I do anything with that. Powers, I don't do anything with that. Hots, um, that's like the seconds, and if you want it to change, fade in, fade out, flash, um, kind of yell at you when it's about to fade, you can. Hot charges, I don't do anything with that. Classes, I keep all of the same colors that they normally are. Raid icons, um, usually enable or disable if you want background um, or text or whatever you want. Target, I don't do anything with that. And tools, um, this is the profile, so I'm actually going to save it before I forget, because I know I will. Key layouts um, is just, you know, spec 1, spec 2. Export, you can actually give this to people. So you can export it to all of your characters, you can replace it, you can share it with people, which is really cool. Um, panel wizard, groups, main tanks. These are the additional panels, which we turned off because I don't like them. Under general, um, if you don't like this background color that's back there, you can just turn the opacity to zero, and then you won't have a background or a border. Some people like to have it, some people don't. Um, I personally have mine turned off. I'm just, I just, I just don't like it. It's just a personal preference. So turn it off if you want, or leave it on. It's, it's really up to you. So that is pretty much how you set up Voodoo. Um, once again, I generally don't have mine this large, just because, you know, it's kind of weird. 
but that's basically how I have mine set up. You can obviously change whatever you want to change. Thank you guys for watching this add-on video. Do not forget to save your profile afterwards. You can use the same profile for all your characters. You just have to resave them each time and change the spells based off the class. I do also use Voodoo on DPS tunes. Obviously, I don't heal with it, so it doesn't really matter. But thank you guys for watching so much. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have any questions about this add-on uh, while you are trying to set it up, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I know it's a really confusing add-on, but it is well worth it. It's probably one of my favorite add-ons to heal with. It's the only add-on that I heal with now, and this is coming from someone that only used the default raid frames for the longest time. So if you have any other add-ons that you would like me to make a video about, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and goodbye.